Hunter is four years old. He was a healthy, happy little boy, and he just lit up our world. We started to notice something was different with Hunter when we would take him to little baby classes. He was always behind. They would be rolling over, Hunter wasn't rolling, they were sitting, Hunter wasn't sitting. As a mom, something didn't feel right. It took us three years to get the diagnosis. CMT4B3 is similar to muscular dystrophy, but instead of the muscles wasting away, the nerves deteriorate, which causes muscle weakness and eventually muscle atrophy, and patients lose the ability to walk, to talk, the use of their hands. A rare disease is generally defined as less than 200,000 patients in the United States. So what we do for Hunter here in this lab is really a very advanced idea. We want to bioengineer the protein that he's missing. Dr. Stefan Zuckner is trying to develop a mini gene for us. We're rewiring Hunter. We're permanently changing his genetic makeup. We're getting rid of the faulty genes and replacing it with a functioning copy. So genetic therapies are on the rise. One very powerful technique is to really replace a faulty gene with the correct copy so that hopefully he can live a fairly normal life. He's taken CMT4B3 on and he wants to solve this problem with us. Just because something is ultra rare doesn't mean there is no hope. With new technology now, we can actually identify the genetics underlying these ultra rare diseases. We're really lucky that Hunter is part of the UM family now and that we get to have access to all these amazing, brilliant researchers and doctors and scientists that, you know, wouldn't even be thinking about CMT4B3 if it wasn't for him is really paving the way for genetic treatments. If this works, we're potentially stopping the disease in its tracks.